This match will get red hot. It's on! Why is Cuphead so hard? Or maybe a better way of phrasing that is, why did the developers decide to make it so hard? Because it was a conscious design decision, they didn't just make the game and then were surprised when it came out hard. Like, oh, I guess we made it a little difficult, didn't we, huh? No. Obviously, the difficulty was intentional. And when asked in developer interviews, they would usually answer with something along the lines of wanting to make something with a retro feel and bring that retro difficulty with it. But I think there's a lot more to it than just wanting to make it feel old school. And while the answer is obviously multifaceted, I want to talk about what I think is the biggest factor, or at least one of the bigger factors, as to why they went for this level of difficulty. That being, the game's length. You see, Cuphead is actually a very short video game. Almost all of the bosses in the game are about a minute and 30 seconds in length. And with how many bosses are in the game, if you were able to beat them all on your first try, you would likely be able to beat the game in about somewhere between 30 minutes to an hour. The main reason why the game is so short, of course, is because making all this high quality 2D animation takes a lot of time and money, which of course go hand in hand, because as we all know, time is money especially when it comes to game development. So then that's the dilemma. They only have enough money to make about 45 minutes worth of a game. But it's hard to sell people on a game that they can beat in one short play session. And so how do you stretch 45 minutes worth of animation into a game that will last for multiple hours of playtime? And the answer is to make it hard. That boss that only takes a minute and a half to beat actually took you 25 minutes because you died on it 16 times before you actually beat it. And this kind of design was used often in retro games for the same reason. They could only make so much game, so they would make it hard to increase the runtime. This of course is not to be confused with using artificial difficulty to extend the runtime of the game. And a good example between artificial difficulty and genuine difficulty being used to extend game length would be the difference between how Super Mario Bros. 3 and Castlevania uses their lives and continue systems. You see, in Super Mario Bros. 3, if you run out of lives and get a game over, you get sent back to the start of the world you were on. So if you say get a game over on level 4, you then have to redo levels 1 through 3 even though you already beat them. You can unlock shortcuts, but most of the time you'll have to recomplete a level or two. Whereas in Castlevania, if you get a game over, because the game has infinite continues, you will always get put back at the start of the level you are currently in. You do lose some progress because you lose the checkpoint you currently had, but the loss of progress is never to an excessive degree. Both of these games use genuine difficulty and artificial difficulty to extend the game's runtime. However, one uses artificial difficulty a lot more than the other by making you replay levels you had already beaten because you failed on a different level entirely. Basically, while both games are hard and you're likely to game over multiple times on both of them, getting a game over in Mario can feel a lot worse than getting a game over in Castlevania. And overall, genuine difficulty is just a lot better than artificial difficulty. It's a lot more fun to finally beat the hard level or boss you were stuck on after retrying a few times over only getting to retry it after you recomplete a challenge you've already beaten. And I think overall this kind of design, that of course being the use of 100% genuine difficulty, ends up working really well for Cuphead. Not only is the feeling of finally beating the boss after multiple tries euphoric, but because you will have to try the boss multiple times, and that you'll have to learn the boss, you end up looking at it more and actually getting to appreciate the high quality animation. But whether or not this was intentional or just a symptom of them using retro game design that happens to use difficulty to make the game last longer as a base, I can't say for sure. What I can say though, whether intentional or not, it is in fact there. And I think the game is better off for it. I feel that the game overall is a lot more enjoyable because of the high difficulty, and that the ranking system encourages replaying bosses to try and achieve mastery. I feel like if I breeze through the game without needing to learn the bosses and give a real effort to each attempt at a boss, then I would have ended the game with a lackluster experience that was over after just one play session, and I probably wouldn't bother to come back to play more. Whereas because the developers decided to use a high difficulty. My first playthrough took me just under 8 hours to beat. 
and the first thing I did after beating the devil and watching the credits was go right back in to refight some bosses on expert mode. Thank you so much for watching my video on Cuphead. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot to me if you'd leave a like and maybe consider subscribing. If you're interested in watching more of me, I have a second channel where I do a podcast with my friends. Uh, link to that will be in the description. Talk about gaming news on that, like new releases and trailers, stuff like that. You can also follow me on Twitter if you're interested in that. I don't really post on it much, but you know, maybe I would if I had more than 10 followers. Link to that will also be in the description. And once again, thank you so much for watching my video.